Well, we're just getting this information. DCPS now confirming that members of the Anacostia High School football team were placed on quarantine this past weekend after possibly getting exposed to the virus. And although we know, according to DCPS policy, athletes are not required to get vaccinated, the shots are encouraged to keep safe and keep the virus under control. Week three of school at Anacostia High in Southeast DC and a spokesperson with DC Public Schools confirms the entire football team was in quarantine after being exposed to the virus. The school handled it, you know, they told us to calm down. People took tests at the school. They didn't take the one that go up your nose. You had to spit in some type of tube or something like that. But you know, they thought we, uh, they followed the protocols. Right now there is no vaccine mandate for DCPS athletes, but since high schoolers are among the group that can receive the vaccine, we wanted to give you a look at just how many young people are getting the shots in some of our largest school districts. Let's take DC, Montgomery County, Fairfax County Public Schools. We went straight to these sources for this one. DC's coronavirus dashboard, a spokesperson from Montgomery County Health and Human Services, and the FCPS superintendent, Dr. Scott Braybrand. Vaccination is our way out of the pandemic. According to the superintendent, nearly 80% of 12 to 17 year olds in Fairfax County Public Schools are vaccinated. Proof of vaccination will get quarantine students back to class sooner if they have no symptoms. And starting in November, all athletes must get the shot or quit the team. Athletes in Montgomery County schools are also mandated to get a vaccine by November 15th. Staff by October 29th. According to the county's health spokesperson, between 75 and 83 percent of 12 to 17 year olds are already vaccinated. MCPS parent Adam Zimmerman says the schools can do more. What MCPS needs to do, in my view, is take that one step further um, and require vaccination for all eligible students. And while DCPS has improved their numbers thanks to 16 vaccination clinics in middle and high schools around the district, the city still has to catch up with just about 66% of 12 to 17 year olds fully vaccinated. Back here live outside of Anacostia High School, we're told the quarantine students should return to classes in about 10 days if they do not show symptoms of COVID-19. Now, according to DCPS policy, as I mentioned, they're not required to be vaccinated. However, they should wear masks and only take them off when they're actively playing. Lorenzo, back All to right. you. Delia, thank you. And those of you at home, those of you with kids, after listening to Delia's report, you might be asking just how bad is the rate of infection among our kids? Let's verify using information straight from the CDC. I know the numbers can get a bit overwhelming, so we're going to focus on one specific age group, all 16 and 17 year olds and a specific week, August 28th. First, the national perspective, the broader perspective here across the country. The number of new cases uh, added up to roughly 325 children for every 100,000 children in that age group. That works out to 0.32%. Pretty low, right? All right, so how does our region compare? In D.C., it's about 302 children per 100,000 children. So a little better than the national average there in Maryland, even better, only 136 children per 100,000 and Virginia, though, close to that national average with 328 children per 100,000.